I cannot believe that my boys are nine already. And while I've made them tons of cool stuff over the years, I've never done a full bedroom makeover. That ends today. So we are going to take this basic and boring bedroom and turn it into the ultimate Harry Potter bedroom. Hopefully looking like it'll be something right out of Hogwarts Castle. I'm Grant, this is Dad Crafted. Let's make some cool stuff. So this project is going to be big and this will probably take several YouTube videos. But phase one is basically trying to make the room look like it's inside of a castle. So we've got to do something to make it look like stone, we've got to get rid of the boring white Ikea beds, and we've got to get rid of all the golden oak and do something about the windows. We're going to start by getting rid of this outside trim, because we don't need it, and we're going to replace it with fake stone. Well, let's go! The good thing here is that this trim is never going back up, so I don't have to be careful when I take it down. And then, since this isn't my bedroom, I enlisted the whole family to help. This is a painting project after all, so you will have to spend a lot of time moving furniture, taping off walls, laying down tarps, all that stuff before you actually get to do anything that's fun and cool. Now, there are many ways to paint fake stone. I chose to have my base coat be a lighter color because I want my grout lines to be light. Step one down. 57 to go. Step two of 57 is to use painter's tape to mask off your bricks. Now, there wasn't a lot of science behind this, I just decided that nine inches was a pretty good size for how tall the bricks should be, and then I just randomly spaced different sizes in between to go horizontally. Once it was time to actually apply paint, I used a medium gray to go over everything with a seafoam sponge. This was a cheapo $2 knockoff can that we found at the ReStore. And the seafoam sponge doesn't use much paint, so one gallon is plenty for one bedroom. Then I come back over with a darker gray and make a little L shape on each brick. Again, this was a knockoff paint that was really cheap. Pro trick, if you go to Lowe's and it's not the exact color you want, you can actually have them retouch it and they'll do it and not upcharge you. And then the last painting step is I take my medium gray again with the seafoam sponge and go back over it one more time. This just helps to add a little texture and really finalize the look of stone. And then I peel all the tape and check out the finished product. And in case you're wondering, I started with this tiny section because I wanted to see how it looked before I did the entire room like this. Eh? Eh? Yeah? All right, so we like it. So that means we get to do the entire room. So tape, paint, 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 de-tape, repeat. But first come to the realization that you're gonna need a lot more tape. So one roll of tape got me that that. Hmm. More tape. But before I bought more tape, I went ahead and painted the south wall. The main thing here was getting these walls done so that I could actually get the beds back up against the wall so that, you know, my kids didn't have to sleep on the floor in my bedroom anymore. Don't worry, they were on mattresses. We're not savages. Child labor. Yeah, just make your L's. If you need a little bit more paint, just dab some on. It's not like, no, uh, no, dab off the excess. There you go, dab, dab, dab. Oops, either, that's a lot. Like that? Yeah, just kind of dab. Do whatever makes you happy. Do what makes you feel good. What do you really think looks good? This is my bedroom. This is your bedroom. So this is a very repetitive process, and you'll probably have nightmares about using a seafoam brush. But really this isn't that hard. I spread it over a few weeks, but you could easily do this in a weekend if you were dedicated. The paint dries really fast, so you don't really have to wait that long between coats. And with the seafoam brush, it can really go on pretty fast. And if you're doing this for your kids, like me, you can put them to work. Ah yes, a little dab for the camera. You're doing great. It's your room, I mean gonna do the work. It's child labor. No, oh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Good time. You get to take pride in knowing that you helped make it. I mean, this is a lot of work, but the further we went, the more we painted, the cooler and cooler this place started to look. But before we go on with the walls, let's pivot and talk about how we're gonna do the beds. Here we go. Oh boy. Hardware. 
or don't care. Just a little bit of chalk paint. Yeah, so like my lovely wife said, we chose to do chalk paint. There's really no preparation, you just chalk paint it all on. These were white beds from Ikea, and we really wanted a way to make them look like wood and, you know, look like they belonged in the Harry Potter universe and not an Ikea store. But to really make them look like wood, there's another step. All right. Some dark black goodness. Clear glaze. I don't know. Boop. Gah! Dang it. Oh, tripes. Ah! Getting it everywhere. I'm gonna dip that in the, all the stuff. I guess I wipe excess away. No idea what I'm doing. Here we go. That looks terrible. That's a little better. Well, now we're cooking with gas. You can just keep going over that. Oh, snap, that looks good. Seems legit to me. Method two, let's brush them on first. Oh, I like that. That could be a one and done situation. <laughs> so obviously, using method two of painting it on first and then using the brush thingy to do the wood grain look was much more effective. And I found once I got the hang of this, I was able to do this stuff really quickly and get the look I was looking for. If you're interested in one of these brushes, I found this thing at Menards for like 15 bucks. You can also find them on Amazon, links in the description. With the drawers done, I moved on to the bed frames. This made me a little nervous because I was painting the wood grain upright instead of flat. So I was kind of worried that if I used too much paint that, you know, it would actually run down a little bit, but that wasn't a problem at all. These things turned out awesome. What's funny is the iPhone doesn't know what to do with this stuff. It can't focus on the wood so I can't even get a good video shot. Look at that. What the heck? And I still haven't figured that out. But anyway, once I had all that done, I sealed everything with a couple coats of polyurethane. I went for a warm satin finish. I'd probably go matte if you have that option, just because I don't really want them shiny. You know, it's got to look uh, weathered and gnarly. Ready, set, go. Oh, this is going to take a while. Oh, man. Don't stick it on me. Yay! This is the point where you wish you could cast some magic spell to make everything go faster so that you didn't have to peel tape off all the walls for, you know, an hour or whatever. All right. Switching gears to trim and the door. So, as I said before, the window trim I don't really care about because it's all going to get replaced and you'll see that soon. But everything else I just taped off and painted with the dark brown chalk paint. Same color as the beds. Again, get rid of the golden oak. Give it this dark feel that'll hopefully make it seem like it's in a castle. And with that, let's talk about the trim. I wanted stone trim since I've got stone castle walls. So to do that, I'm using foam. I had a bunch of leftover foam from the previous project where I made a bunch of gravestones for Halloween. So I cut it down into strips on the bandsaw and then cut those strips down into tiny blocks. And then I moved my guide even closer and cut all those blocks in half. So I ended up with pieces that were about three to quarter inches wide. A lot of pieces.
but they can't just be blocks, we have to shape them. So I take a file and just kind of rough up all the edges. And in a few spots, put some little gouges and cracks so, you know, they look like stone. And then I repeat that 47 times. When all my carving is done, I get everything laid out, and then I get ready to paint with Monster Mud. If you're not sure what Monster Mud is, it's a mixture that I make with gray paint, dry lock, and joint compound. I've done a previous video, and if you watch that aforementioned gravestone video, you'll see how I make it there. But this stuff really hardens up the foam, and I find it gives it the right texture to really make it look like stone. Alright, now we're going to take some black spray paint and lightly spray these from about 18 inches away so that it kind of darkens and weathers them up. I don't recommend doing this trick on a windy day, but if you're like me and you live somewhere like Iowa, it's always windy. Just do the best you can. The cool thing about projects like this where you're making stuff that's spooky or looking old or weathered is it doesn't have to be perfect. Just good enough. All right, home stretch. Before we can put up our new trim, we've got to finish the north wall. And I had just enough tape. Just got done. Literally, use the last piece of tape on the roll. Let's go. And I suppose I'll just reiterate here. This looks like a lot of painting. It's really not. The seam foam brush makes this go fast. It just looks like a lot when it's, you know, all four walls. But I had fun. And this is awesome. Ah! I got it all. God, look how long this is. Hallelujah. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. We did it. We're done. Yeah, buddy. It's a lot of painting and it's a lot of tape. Use some Loctite power grab. I have an assistant. That should stick, hopefully. There, one down. 39 to go. This is also a super easy process and it doesn't take much Loctite at all. My buddy here is just holding up a brick and making sure that I don't put any Loctite in what would be a gap so that you can see it later. Gotta finish those too. If I haven't mentioned it before, having a bandsaw is awesome. It allows you to do little cuts like this on foam wood or whatever. Then I just kind of do what I did before on the edges, file them off, paint them up, and glue them in place. With all the trim in place, we've got one last trick to do, and that's how to make the windows look like lead glass. First step is to make sure you get them good and clean. Once that's done, then we start using pinstriping tape. I'm not advanced in the ways of welding lead, so I just happen to use pinstriping tape as a shortcut. Will this peel when it weathers? Probably. Can I easily put more pinstriping back on over top of this? Definitely. This is an easy solution to give you a look that looks like the castle windows from Hogwarts itself. Voila. I should also mention, I'm totally eyeballing this. I did one measurement to get the middle of the window and that was it. The rest I eyeballed and, hey, turned out pretty good, right? All right, let's see how it all came together. I just love how the wood look turned out on these beds. This brush does a really cool job at accomplishing this and it's not a perfect wood look if that's what you're striving for, but for what I'm doing and to have this kid look and kind of a fake feel of everything, like this is exactly the aesthetic I wanted. 
These windows turned out so cool, especially considering it's just foam and some pinstriping tape. We ended up getting some Harry Potter bed sets from Amazon. You know, it kind of rounds out the look of the room. But really, let's be honest, it's this stonework that actually makes it. It doesn't look like perfect stone, but it's kind of got that cartoony feel that I was really looking for to help it look like Hogwarts, but Hogwarts in a kid's bedroom. Oh, and don't worry about that golden oak door. We've got big plans coming for that. All right, guys, if you like this project, make sure you're subscribed because this is just the beginning and we have many more magical things in store for this project. And if you have any ideas that you could provide for some extra wizarding elements to add to the room, I'd love to hear about them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.